Katika vijiji tulivu vya wadi ya Siongiroi eneo bunge la Chepalungu County Bomet. Tunampata Helen Rono akidai na shughuli zake za nyumbani. Rono anaondoka kwenda kuchota maji katika bwawa hili shambani mwake alochimbiwa na wanawe zaidi ya miaka kumi iliyopita. Nambalo limekuwa tegemeo lao kwa maji ya matumizi ya nyumbani. Ndege hawa pia utegemea bwawa hili kwa maji. Huku ikizingatiwa kuwa maji haya yametuama sehemu moja kwa kawaida huwa sio salama kunywa yalivyo. Rono ana njia ya kuyasafisha. Kwanza huwa anaweka maji kreka ndo hii ya lita 16 ili na kifaa cha kusafisha maji na kutoa virusi ambavyo husababisha magonjwa. We've been having a pro problem um, for a long time because uh, where we get drinking water and uh, for any other use in the house we've been taking water from a, a, a dam down there which is just stagnant it is not good for um, human consumption so any other animal can get into it drink from it and we've been consuming that water it has been bringing a lot of health issues like headache uh, typhoids and diarrhea for a long time mwanawe rono anasema ilikuwa changamoto kubwa kupata maji safi ya kunywa walipokuwa wakikua hali ambayo ilipelekea waugue mara kwa mara magonjwa yatoka nayo na maji kabo nyuma ndimekuwa tukikunywa vile hivyo. Fa wakati wa kiangazi kuna bia malaria, kuna malaria kama bole kuna makunja kama kipindu pindo. Na bia nijua huku mali tunaishi kuna kuna msimu wa kiangazi. Na kama kijama kama familia kwa sababu tuna njia nyingine ya kuokota hiyo macho ama kupata maji, huwa tunategemea vile hivyo. After such a long struggle we were able to join Juhudi Kilimo company as a group and they were able to train us on the uh, water filter and we were able to acquire it through a loan. I've been using the, the water filter for three years now. Ah, Santi, Santi, Baria, Uku. Nilianyo maji haya na ni salama kabisa. Well, my name is Tabitha. Mkaza mwana anayeishi mbali na hapa huja hapa mara tatu kwa wiki kumuomba mavia wake maji ya kunywa kabla apate uwezo kununua ndoo yake ili uwezo kusafisha maji. My home is 5 kilometers away from here and I normally come three times in a week to pour the same water from my mother. It's been uh, three months pouring water from my mom, and then now uh, we've been safe. My family members are now safe from, I uh, have never had any complaint uh, from the members. Kifa hiki kinaweza kuchunga aina yote ya maji na kinaweza kutumika kwa muda wa miaka mitatu. Jirani wa Rono ni Gladys Chalagat ambaye pia hutumia maji kutoka bwawa hili. Moshi kutoka jikoni kwake umetanda kote. Chalagat anasema kuwa huwa anachemsha maji mara kwa mara. Saa zingine na kunywa pure. Kama kuni aisha. Saa zingine naenda hospitali sababu ya adubu na kichwa anasema hajakuwa na uwezo kununua ndoo hiyo speciali ya kusafisha maji kufuatia lingumu ya kiuchumi anakiri kuwa moshi huu wa kuni umwadhiri mno anapochemsha maji na kupika so kena daktari anawaambia nini naambia enda uchamuzi ya maji kati kaka jiji cha Kapsiongo eneo bunge la Sotik 
Lakini mama na wazee wamekusanyika kupata mafunzo ya jinsi ya kutumia ndoo zilizo na uwezo kusafisha maji ya kunywa. Kufuatia gharama ya kununua ndoo hii na changamoto za kiuchumi wanaweza kumbana nazo. Kufuatia gharama ya kununua ndoo hii na changamoto za kiuchumi wanaweza kumbana nazo wenye eneo hilo lilitoa kuchukua ndoo hiyo kwa malipo ya pole pole. The challenges women face uh, in reaching out or providing clean water to their families is immense. We are also cognizant of the fact that uh, climate change is a great impact to our nation and the world at large. Kupitia mikopo kutoka kwa juhudi kilimo wenye yonaweza kununua ndoo hizo na kulipa kwa muda wa miezi 12 huko kuendelea kunywa maji safi na salama. Juhudi kilimo is a microfinance that uh, works with smallholder farmers and uh, microentrepreneurs to provide them with transformative financial solutions uh, across uh, Kenya. Wenye jua hapa kama ilivyo katika sehemu zingine za nchi wanakabiliana na magonjwa toka nayo na matumizi ya maji machafu kwa kukosefu maji salama. Globally 4.4 billion people do not have access to treated water in their house. And in Kenya each year 33,000 people die of diarrhea. And this health crisis is caused by the lack of safe drinking water. Besides people dying of diarrhea in Kenya, 2.2 million children are stunted. This equals 26% of the children under 5. Yeah, and being stunted, it means that those children are not growing as fast as their peers. Their body weight is too low and eventually being stunted also affects their brains. Katika zanati ya siongiloi an nyole ambaye anasimamia zanati hii akili kuwa kuna visa vingi mno vya magonjwa tukanayo na matumizi ya maji machafu in this facility we have got some cases very many cases of gastrointestinal cases like uh, diarrheal cases so uh, on this year alone we have got uh, we have seen a lot of cases of diarrhea Uh, that's about uh, 56 cases of diarrhea in January, February. We have got 50, 54 cases, and then uh, we have got typhoid, typhoid, typhoid cases. We have got one case uh, on January, and then uh, January Pia we have got 60, 68 cases of amebiasis and 98 cases of amebiasis. So those are the cases that we have had which are water related cases and the reason could be in this our community uh, we have got poor water treatment by the community. Kwenye bao huu kuna record inaonyesha kuwa zaidi ya maboma 400 katika wadi ya Siongiroi hayana vyo. Na kulingana nyole Visa vingi huripoti wa msimu wa mvua. This number of households it is quite a high number. So and you know I told you that uh, the water which we are using mostly is the one that are running off the, the ground after rain they run to the to the wells that we have dug. So if they are not using latrines so there is a high chance so that water being contaminated by the nini the feces. And most of these water sources are heavily polluted with E. coli bacteria. So with our water filter, we now empower households to purify their well water, their tap water, the river water, or their rain water, any water source. And we see that the people here, especially in the rural areas, they're really in need of a solution so they can have safe drinking water every day. Huku watu bilioni mbili nukta mbili koto limanguni wakikosa maji safi na salama kwa dhimisho kwa siku ya maji ulimwenguni huwa kuna hamasisha watu kuhusu muhimu wa maji safi na jinsi ya kukabiliana na changamoto zilizopo nchini Kenya zile watu milioni 28 hawana uwezo wa kupata maji safi na salama huku milioni 41 wakikosa miundo msingi ya usafi wa vyo kukumbati ya teknolojia za kusafisha maji kuhamasisha umma kuhusu safi wa maji na serikali kusambaza maji kwa wananchi 
vinatajwa kuwa baadhi ya njia za kupunguza vifo na magonjwa yatokanayo na matumizi ya maji machafu. Thank you so much. Mashukuru sana. Dan Kaburu K24 kutoka kaunti ya Bomet. Thank <laughs> you.